a 34-year-old man comes to the physician with excessive thirst and frequent urination. He was recently discharged from the hospital after a prolonged intensive care stay due to complications following a motorcycle accident. He takes no medications and has no known drug allergies. Physical examination, including a complete neurological examination, is unremarkable. Laboratory evaluation shows a fasting blood glucose level of 90 mg per deciliter. His urinary osmolality after two hours of water restriction is 250 milliosmoles per liter, but it increases to 700 milliosmoles per liter after an injection of antidiuretic hormone. The patient has started on the appropriate therapy and his symptoms improve. He follows up regularly with his physician over the next several years, but his symptoms persist and he continues to require treatment. This patient's persistent condition is best explained by direct injury to which of the following structures? A. Anterior hypophysis B. Hypothalamic nuclei C. Kidneys D. Posterior hypophysis or E. Thalamic nuclei The correct answer is B, hypothalamic nuclei. This patient has diabetes insipidus, or DI, a disease characterized by polyuria, excessive urination, and polydipsia, excessive thirst, despite normal blood glucose levels. These symptoms occur due to impaired antidiuretic hormone, ADH, activity, and the resulting production of large volumes of very dilute urine. ADH, or vasopressin, is synthesized in the hypothalamus specifically in the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei. After synthesis, ADH is transported to the posterior pituitary, hypophysis, for storage and later release into the circulation. A. Anterior hypophysis is the wrong answer. The anterior pituitary produces ACTH, TSH, gonadotrophic hormones, prolactin, and growth hormone. Hormone secretion from the anterior pituitary is regulated by substances released from the median eminence into the hypothalamo-hypophysial portal vessels. C. Kidneys is also the wrong answer. DI is caused by one of two mechanisms, deficient ADH production, central, or resistance to the action of ADH in the kidneys, nephrogenic. Despite the identical symptoms of central and nephrogenic DI, injection of exogenous ADH can be used to distinguish between them. Administration of ADH increases urine osmolality in patients with central DI, as in this patient. In contrast, patients with nephrogenic DI have no change in urine osmolality after ADH administration. D. Posterior hypophysis is close but not quite. Central DI can be permanent, as in this patient, or transient depending on the exact location and mechanism of injury. It is rare for permanent DI to occur from isolated damage to the posterior pituitary as the vasopressinergic neuronal cell bodies are located higher up in the hypothalamus. These surviving neurons can hypertrophy and undergo axonal regeneration, allowing them to produce and release functional qualities of ADH into the circulation. And finally, E. Thalamic nuclei is also the wrong answer. Thalamic nuclei are involved in relaying sensory and motor signals to the cerebral cortex and regulation of alertness and consciousness. They have no role in body water regulation.